Have you ever wondered what it takes to keep this system running for millions of people every day? We learned. In December 2020, we installed our first end shield system on the escalators right here in Prague. And today we monitor 21 of the heaviest escalators for Prague subway using 168 of our sensors. Keep them running. Let's first hear from Mr. Vondracek, our customer. He's head of transportation services for Prague Subway, and he shared some of his challenges with us earlier. Provozujeme dopravní zařízení s lidmi, cestujícími. To je velmi vysoká zodpovědnost. What was your main motivation to start digitizing escalator maintenance? Tu digitalizaci v podstatě na rovinu řešíme, protože víme, že ten dostatek lidí nebude, že to zařízení bude složitější, čili musíme vyřešit nějaký základní uh, identifikace opotřebení a přejít z preventivní údržby na tu prediktivní, protože ta preventivní je prostě drahá. A samozřejmě v neposlední řadě, v momentě, kdy zjistím, že ta preventivní není potřeba v takové míře, tak můžu tu energii dávat jiným směrem. How does a loss of skilled labor affect your maintenance procedures? Teď ta situace ukazuje, že to je velmi nutnou záležitostí, že vlastně nám to může umožnit vůbec komunikovat i na úrovni uh, pohledu do očí. Uh, How do OEMs themselves contribute to maintenance digitization? Uh, bohužel my narážíme i na to, že samotní výrobci výtahu eskalátorů jsou stále velmi těžce pozadu. Uh, nezvažují ani, no možná, že zvažují, ale stále nemají ve svém výrobním programu instalaci či na opotřebení při nějakých provodních dodávkách. A díky tomu dneska zkoušíme měření vibrací na výtahu, na výtazích a víme, že vlastně díky tomu dochází k nějaký změně toho stavu a, a už dneska na základě toho máme vypočítáno, jaká je zhruba životnost těch jednotlivých strojů podle zátěže v těch momentech instalovaných výtahů, v těch místech těch instalovaných výtahů. A samozřejmě tyhle poznatky dneska nutně podle, podle těch zátěží řešíme i v té technologii eskalátoru. What are the savings of digitization in your case? Je to čidlo, když zaznamená ten drhnoucí zvuk, tak mě může ušetřit třeba výměnu všech stupňů na tom celém pásmu, kdy se mi prodřou drážky od kamínku, který se zasekne do těch zubů. Jo, to je třeba případ, kdy se ušetří řádově třeba i 2,5 milionu. To detect anomalies in these escalators, we first need to install sensors. And the place under my feet is not a friendly place to be in. And our team had real challenge installing them. In the next video, my colleague Jan will give us a little behind the scenes tour of the installation. Hello, I'm Jan from Neuron Soundware and today I'd like to show you how we install our hardware onto escalators. So, as you can see behind me the escalators are stripped down, ready for the installation. Down there in the engine compartment there is the motor, transmission, driven gears and shafts. Here you can see one of our technicians installing the chain rail sensor, which monitors the movement of the steps. Here we can see the driven gear and the main shaft responsible for the movement of the chain rail. Here we can see the transmission and the motor sensors. And let us take another look at the chain rail. Here you can see. And this is a different model of the escalator but with the driven gear, main shaft and the transmission protected. Once the hardware is installed, all the sounds and vibrations from the escalators down here are transferred to our end shield platform and through the portal our customers can monitor status of their assets. And this is the end shield portal. So let's say I'm Prague Subway maintenance manager. I'm Mr. Vondrace and I want to see why I got notification in my email today. What's the system telling me? I log in and I arrive here at my fleet view where I have cards for every single of my escalators and I know that I got an email about escalator number 90 on Mustek station with an anomaly. I want to know what the anomaly is. So I go to the asset card, the asset details and first thing that, that happens to me is I see the log of the machine which is the basis for the utilization reports but I want to see the alerts so I filter them out by this button and I see that this morning just before 5 a.m. 
that has been an anomaly. So my checking typically starts with the visual. I want to see which part of the machine started the anomaly. And I see it's there. I see anomaly score all over the place, high over the threshold, just before 5 a.m. So people start with rolling in and loading the machine at 5, but the anomalies are just here. I'm zooming on transmission right, which is the culprit. And the final thing I can do is I can actually check the sounds. Now, what the platform is doing, it contains all the information. It contains all the recordings, all the decisions of the neural network and my alerts and my uptime reports. Now it's loading the sounds. It will visualize for me all the recordings around the time of the anomaly and it will highlight the channel that triggered the anomaly. I can check this sound. This one sounds normal. It's not as loud. And just by visual, I see a huge difference. So I want to play this one for me. Yeah, this sounds like a normal transmission sound, not so noisy. Now what's this one? That's a problem. This one is irregular. That is some kind of screeching. So I'm, I'm confident. I know there is a problem, what it is. And now, now I know where I have to send my maintenance team today. Transportation systems are everywhere around us, used by millions of commuters every day. With our N-Shield AI-driven acoustic monitoring system, we want to help detect failures, prevent outages, and increase uptime. We want to help you maintain these systems every day. Visit us at neuronsoundware.com and start protecting your assets today.